And uh, then Steve came to Dubai, the, the founder, and he had a talk. And everyone got really intrigued by him and by the whole thing. And then they opened the Dubai chapter. And about six months after they opened this Dubai chapter or something, I came. I came back. And I, of course, joined the chapter. I was very eager to. And about a year, I think, they had had it. But it was very hard and, they, you know, wasn't very focused on what was going on. And then when I came back with the support of all the other committee members, we just churned it out and started deciding what we, who was good at what. And that's also the key thing. And for example, my friend Dina is just amazing at fundraising. She's got the contacts and she's done excellent. I mean, as a group, we've brought in over $300,000. So, uh, thousands. I, I don't know exactly the figure, but I think they've They've, uh, if I'm not wrong, they've done surgery on about 2,000 kids. But how many have they helped? Thousands. You have children who have diabetes, who need medicine. They can't afford medicine. You have children who have epilepsy, uh, you know, blood transfusions. Uh, all of this, this, is, this doesn't get counted in the hype of it all, you know. Everyone wants to see the surgery part. But he's helped thousands. We've helped, uh, we, we, we do other projects. We have a women's embroidery. We want to empower women. So we have an embroidery uh, women in Palestine and in Lebanon, in the camps of Lebanon. And uh, actually one of our volunteers here in Dubai is, um, she makes her own line of clothing for uh, children. And she's one of our volunteers. So what she did is she bought all the material, all the wool, all the thread, she sent it to our women in the camps of Lebanon. They sewed it, and now it's going to be sold here in source in one of our committee members' shops. And the profits will go, you know, I mean, they, they paid for the embroidery. So, it's great. Yeah, it is. It's great. It's great. It's, it's nice. And I went and saw these women. You know, when I went to Lebanon, when I go on vacation, my dad lives in Lebanon. And I go every time to the camp. And... The camps in Lebanon are nearly worse than the camps in Palestine, actually. Really bad, because, you know, they can't, they can't work. They're not legally allowed to work in Lebanon. So it's all menial jobs, it's all illegal jobs, like if they're on construction or they're maids. Or, so it's, it's uh, very needed, even to give them their own sense of ability to do something. Well, I mean, it's, I, I mean officially, I'm the spokesperson, the PR person, and the medical liaison. So my role has mainly been trying to find doctors and hospitals. And then when the kids come to try and get media attention to it, because really that's what gets people to support us. But, I mean, I'll do, we do anything that's necessary. We would like to, I always want to do more. The other committee members remind me that we've done quite a bit considering that we work, you know, and, and that is a factor, we work. I mean, now this last month I haven't worked. And, that's been great because we have four children here and it took a lot of work to get them here, months and months. Um, when we got the committee here to get the visas for them, then the Israelis wouldn't allow them out of Gaza, then the visas expire. People don't know all the little, little annoying things about trying to help people. It's, it's not just a matter of, oh, get them on a plane and get them here. Um, so that's what I do. So I find doctors, I find hospitals, I get the media, I communicate with the people in Palestine on which kids, sending me pictures, sending me medical reports and things like that. Then we have a volunteer, we have two volunteer liaisons that deal with the family once the family are here, because that's not easy. Um, getting volunteers to visit them, take them to their appointments, etc. And then the other two, we have the, um, like the treasurer, and one is the uh, events and fundraiser. So, so it's a three person. A lot of people who want to help and don't help, it's because they think they have to give so much. And that's not true. You know, just because you, you offer to be a volunteer, it doesn't mean you have to then dedicate your life to the cause or you have to give us hours and hours. No, we don't ask for that. We ask you to visit a mother. We ask you to pick them up once in a while. If you tell us you can't, we find someone else. You give us what you can, you know, what makes you happy. Are you the type that wants to invite them over for pizza and have them interact with your kids? Are you the type to take them to a museum? Are you the type to... You, you do what you think is good for you, and that is help to them. And that's what I do. I do what I feel is good for me, and that somehow has turned into help for them. And that's what I say.
you know, people are so scared to just, you know, they think, oh no, it's a commitment, it's a huge commitment. We're all scared of commitment. But it's, it's not as big as you think it is. It really isn't. Some people take them to ceramic cafe, some people, you know, they, people tend to do what they enjoy to do. And that's what we recommend. I think for me, I love the balance it brings into my life. I mean, you know Dubai. We go to nice restaurants, we travel, we... You know, I, I've been brought up very well in the sense I, that I need to give back to feel human. I need to give back to feel my life is worth it. I, I, I have a good life, I've had ups and downs, I've had hard times, I've had good times. Giving back makes me realize we're all in the same boat. It's just a different boat going in different directions sometimes, but we're all in the same boat. There's ups, there's downs, some people have it worse, some people have it better. The balance, the balance, seeing those kids, um, I love it. I, I love what it gives me. It makes me feel good about myself. It's very selfish. Really makes me feel good about myself. Um, I, I feel, yep, done that. Okay, That's, I'm all right for another three months. Done my bit. <laughs> Do you want to add anything? No. I think, uh, you know, go do it. You know, do it. It's, uh, don't just do charity. Do something that makes you feel good. I, I think it takes you so far. It takes you far. And that's the end. <laughs> <laughs>